Oh, they're all starting to call now. So the next one, which is another arboreal species, <coughs> which is will, will be a bit rare around here, but if you live closer to the escarpment or closer north of like North Wollongong, and even up in, um, I know there's huge populations of them in Helensburg, that area. Um, these guys are quite abundant over there, but they're real. They're really arboreal. They're really dependent on trees. They can't do what, what the Perrin tree frogs can do and substitute arboreal habitat with man-made habitat. So, yeah, you really need trees. If you have if you have a property or a backyard that already has some native trees in it, there's a good chance that you can attract them or already have them. But they, they're an explosive breeder. They'll probably only call maybe one week a year. They can call in you know, a few blocks, but it'll be three days here, three days there, only after really torrential heavy rain. And they will only breed in ephemeral ponds, so ponds which dry up. So if you get a pond, make sure it's quite, and want to attract them, make sure it's quite wide and flat, so that, and may, not very deep, so maybe, 10 centimetres to 20 centimetres deep and just let it dry up. So, after just doing the talk about frogs of the Illawarra region, I've just stumbled across one of the species of frog that I was talking about in my talk, which is one of the more arboreal species of frog. So this is the bleating tree frog, Latoria dentata. And as you can see in this habitat, it's um it's very there's there's a lot of trees around which is habitat you'd expect to find this frog in so th this frog species would be found up in the canopy sheltering when they're not in breeding season and we found this one just jumping across the road so it's probably trying to get from one side of the canopy area to the other and it had to come down but um, these guys are just finishing up their breeding season after late rains this year and it's it's awesome to find this one. We, we weren't going to stop for it because we thought it was a marsh frog but yeah so th this is one of the frogs I talked about today which r heavily rely on ephemeral water bodies as breeding habitat so if you wanted to attract this frog to your garden you need to have a pond which uh, regularly dries up and in summer when it fills up with rain, these guys will likely breed there if you have established trees around. All right, we'll let him go.